Hello beautiful ladies. Just wanted to pop in and say hi to all of you on the Maya's Oasis group. I wasn't sure if I would do a video or not today, but I just felt inspired to do so. So mostly I just like connecting with all of you and saying hi. And um, I'm out here at Shawnee Mission Lake, which is one of my most favorite places to be. And uh, <laughs> hello to everybody who's joining right now. So, um, yeah. Hey, Michelle, good to see you. So nature is actually one of my... Um, one of my best ways for self-care and recharging and um, in my work I do a lot of um, I give a lot of energy to other people and so it's really important to recharge and I actually believe that it's really important for everybody to recharge because we all give a lot to other people but y'all hear me talk about that all the time so today I just wanted to speak for a couple of minutes about um, a topic that's near and dear to my heart these days, and it is um, authenticity versus false positivity, okay? So um, I am all for being positive. I think you can tell I'm usually smiling and happy, I'm usually not complaining, and um, usually speaking about positive things in the world and in my life. Um, and I think positivity is, hey Erica, I think positivity is a wonderful thing. Um, I don't think it's healthy to be in a constant negative loop um, all the time. I think, um, you know, we tend to uh, attract what our primary, primary, primary vibration is. So if we are primarily negative most of the time, hey Erica, if we're primarily negative then, then we will tend to attract more of that vibration and if, we're primar if our primary vibration is positive and seeing the positive outlook then we will tend overall to attract more positive. But here's where we get into trouble. Here's where things can get kind of unhealthy. It's when we are focusing on the need to be always positive 110% of the time. And in fact, I see memes all the time on Facebook that say, um, absolutely, absolutely, I will allow no negativity in my life. And so it is. And I read those and I'm like, wow, uh, I'm going to tell y'all what you resist persists. So if your vibration is like, no negativity, no negativity, get rid of all negativity, positive vibes only, positive vibes only, well, guess what you're resisting? Negative. And guess what? In life, we have polarities of energy. So we have both the positive and the negative. And also as human beings, as human beings, we're going to have negative thoughts, negative emotions come up sometimes. And it's so important that we don't push it down or gloss over it or brush over it and say, no, I, you know, I'm supposed to always be positive. I think there's this really common belief nowadays. At least I'm observing it in a lot of spiritual circles that, um, that if you're, there's just, I don't know if it's out really spoken blatantly but it's this idea that if you're if you're negative or if you're having any negative experiences that means that maybe your vibration isn't high enough maybe you're you have a low vibration because you're having some negative vibes right now or you're not spiritual enough because if you were really spiritual you'd be positive all the time well I'm gonna tell you that that is bull crap. It's bull crap. Oh, la, la, la. It is bull crap. Because you are a human being. Um, if you are attempting to be positive all the time, that is what I call false positivity. Okay. Because it's not real. There, there are going to be times when you do authentically feel positive, And there are going to be times where you just feel shitty 
where you just feel mad at the world or something crappy just happened and you feel irritated about it, well, in my humble opinion, the healthiest way to deal with that is to actually allow yourself to feel those so-called negative feelings. Because guess what happens if you push it down or you try to deny it? Positive vibes only, positive vibes only, no negativity, positive vibes only. Guess what's going to happen? All that stuff gets stuffed, stuffed down. And when you stuff emotions, they get stored in your body, in your cells, in your organs, uh, also different areas of your energy body. And then eventually, if gone unresolved, and you haven't processed that stuff, enough of that stuff gets stored in your body, it actually can create chronic pain, creates disease, um, you know, all sorts of, uh, you know, and mental illness, you know, all of that stuff unexpressed, um, it can really turn into nasty stuff, okay? Let me give you an example. So, um, have you ever had a relationship with a friend or a significant other and there were little things that were coming up that were kind of bothering you that like they did this or they said that and it really rubbed you the wrong way, but you didn't say anything because you were trying to be positive. And then like maybe like a couple weeks go by or maybe six months and then all that stuff that you hadn't expressed, all of a sudden this like tiny thing happens. Maybe maybe they're like making too much noise while they're chewing their food or something, like some really insignificant thing happens and you just freaking fly off the handle. Have you ever done that? Because all that stuff that you weren't expressing, it just all came out right then, right? That's what happens when you stuff it. It's going to come out sooner or later and it's going to come out as an un uncontrollable monster, whether it's, um, you know, the bitchy, the bitch archetype, or if it's the, or if it's disease or pain in your body, it's going to come out as some kind of monster. So, um, I'm a big proponent of being authentic and there are ways to be authentic in really healthy ways. So I want to take a moment to touch on, like, let's talk about anger for a little bit. So there's, I think, uh, uh, my computer was freezing up. Hope you all can still see me. Um, so there's the other side about anger. Like, don't be that's just not cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, and then there's also people who are like, I'm all about authenticity, and they just say the most horrible things to people, and like harmful things. So I want to describe the difference between, uh, as we're talking about anger, let's talk about the difference between um, clean anger and destructive anger. So destructive anger, um, an expression of destructive anger is where you're actually like just uncontrollably spouting off stuff or maybe actually hurting someone, hitting someone or uh, just saying really cruel or hateful things out of anger. Um, that's destructive because those words can't be taken back and that, that those are like poison arrows that hit that person. Your anger might be completely authentic and maybe totally justified too, but the way that you're expressing it is really destructive. So there's a way to express it that's called clean anger, and that's allowing yourself the, the space to process it and release it without harming others. You could still have a conversation with that person if you're in a space where you feel that you're not going to become destructive with it, but sometimes we need to go and process it in other ways, like, uh, writing in our journal, or maybe if you're really pissed off, like, you know, yelling and screaming at the top of your lungs, like go outside or go in your car and close the door and scream at the top of your lungs, punching a pillow, uh, going and doing vigorous exercise, um, calling up a friend who's not involved in the situation and just like totally 
just venting and just getting it all out until you can process it and calm down. And then when you're in a more grounded state, then you can, you know, speak with that person. Um, but yelling and screaming and, you know, um, saying harmful things, saying insulting things, name calling or, you know, actually physically harming someone, all of that, it would be um, destructive anger. So there are people who are who say I'm all into authentic authenticity. And their expressions are actually very destructive and and defi divisive, they build up walls. But on the contrary, when we have Hey, Kathy, hey, Carrie, on the contrary, when we are constantly taking on false positivity and not allowing the expression of our authentic emotions, then that's causing harm too. As I explained before, eventually that stuff comes out. So um, I mentioned that it could come out as a big monster, but it can also come out through like little passive aggressive uh, behaviors, little nuances, right? That eventually can, can um, wear down any kind of relationship, whether it's a significant other, friend, business relationship, coworker, whatever. So, um, so it's all about allowing those expressions, you know, and sometimes you'll think that you have allowed a healthy expression, you've processed your stuff, and then like four years later, out of the blue, you suddenly, one day you're like, I feel really angry at this person. Uh, that actually happened to me last night. I was walk running an errand. I was walking through Target. And I'm just like pushing my cart. And I'm like all of a sudden thinking about this situation that happened years ago. And all of a sudden I had this anger, all this anger that welled up. And I'm not, <laughs> I think you all can tell, I'm not typically, an, I'm not really an angry person. And it was so, it was like all this energy came up and I'm like, where is that coming from? And I was just kind of in self-observation mode as I'm walking around trying to find the trash bags in the Target store. And I'm like, oh, okay. So some stuff that I had stuck, some thing, emotions that I had stuffed in, they're coming up to be released. So instead of resisting it, what I always do is I say, okay, I'm going to honor this. Um, you know, I wasn't able to punch any pillows or scream while I was in Target, but in that instance, I didn't really need to. I just breathed as I was walking and acknowledged what I was feeling that was coming up and just let it process. And then also here, as I'm um, out here at Shawnee Mission Lake, I'm, um, I've got my feet on the ground. That's also another really great way to dis discharge energy. What I realized last night was that, um, you know, even though I'm a big believer in authenticity, I also, you know, I'm also always striving for positivity. And so I realized with that particular um, situation that happened a few years ago, that I had um, kind of rushed too soon into the positivity. I hadn't allowed myself to really just be pissed off because somebody did some crappy stuff. And, um, you know, I didn't allow myself enough time to just feel pissed off. I rushed into, well, I just want to feel positive and put it behind me. And then I did do some processing, but not enough because sooner or later, you know, four years later, five years later, some of that stuff came up for me and I went, Oh, I didn't do a good, I didn't, I didn't do enough processing back then. So it's good that it's coming up and I just let it go, let it go and, um, you know, honor it and do whatever is needed to let it out. Uh, in that particular circumstance, I don't even think I need to journal or anything. I'm emotionally done with it. It was more energetic, if that makes sense. So yeah, so that's just my two cents about authenticity and uh, versus false positivity. So just remember that it is okay to have negative emotions. Um, and actually, there's a lot of really, the reason why this even came to my mind is that there's, hey Sally, there's been a lot of really intense energy the last couple of days, and um, that energy has been bringing up a lot of um, emotional stuff for a lot of people. Uh, maybe not for everybody, but I think it just kind of depends on where you're at right now. And so a lot of the people in my circles, uh, in my 
friend, a lot of my friends were all <laughs> were mess messaging each other saying, "Oh my God, I just feel so irritable." Uh, and for me, I'm not normally an irritable person, and I've just been like, "Ugh," the last couple of days. So the energies are really intense. Is anybody else feeling it? In the who's watching right now? Is anybody feeling? If if you're not, that's great. If things are easy for you right now, then I am so happy for you. Oh, Kathy. Oh, yeah. Definitely, Carrie. Yeah. The energies are really intense. So I just, I lovingly encourage you to um, not gloss over it and be like, oh, I shouldn't be negative. I need to be more positive. Um, stop shooting on yourself. Don't say I should be more positive. <laughs> hey, Sally. Yep, I'm feeling it too. So, yeah, so um, just allow it, you know, that energy, everything moves in cycles. So eventually, this cycle will complete and things will feel easier. And it's actually a real blessing that this stuff is being stirred up. The reason why it's being stirred up is because it's moving out. The more you resist it and just try to jump into immediate false positivity, the more you stuff those things back down and then it can cause all, all sorts of problems later. So what you want to do now is just breathe and just allow all of that uncomfortable shit to come up. <laughs> allow it to come up and go out. Yes. So um, I do like to swear sometimes. That's part of my authenticity. So I hope you can deal with that. Okay. Um, I think that's all that I want to share today. And I'm just so happy to connect with all of you. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful nature out here. There's the lake. You can see a little bit of it right there. Um, I, um, yeah, wow, good stuff. Thank you, Carrie. I'm so happy to connect with all of you. Um, and I would remi be remiss if I didn't mention at the end of my video that if you would like any more information about the classes that I offer, I have Reiki classes coming up. And then also I have my ongoing create program for women and um, it's a wonderful group if I might say so myself and um, my website is www and then my name.com so mayazahira.com m as in mary a y a z as in zebra a h i r a dot com all right ladies um, if any of you in the group have um, any information about the energies that are coming up right now. Um, I specialize in a lot of different things, but I don't specialize in astrology and the different energies that are going on on the planet. So I always welcome other people to post that stuff. So if you have anything that you'd like to share, feel free to post in the thread below. And um, that is helpful to all of us if you do so. Thank you so much. Sending you all my love. Till next time.